Hey team, welcome to your next class. Make sure you have your full uniform on, you have your gloves. And for this class, we have some really cool drills to work on with the magazine. So grab yourself a magazine. I'll give you 10 seconds to go find that stuff. Ready, go. Close your eyes, our team, real quick, and take a couple deep breaths. Set your intention for class today. Remind yourself how you want to feel when you're done. Decide right now to put your full effort in. Bring your feet together. And down. Everyone, relax, dance. Student creed number one, begin. To build true confidence, I must have knowledge in my mind, honesty in my heart and strength in my body. Winners never quit, quitters never win. I choose to be a black belt. All right, team, we're gonna get warmed up. We're gonna get ourselves all um, ready to go for our really cool drills coming up. So I want everyone to tap on the right leg, right leg back, hit the top, hey yeah. And we want to start bouncing on your feet. When you bounce on your feet there, team, you're shifting your weight from your front foot to your back foot. And you're actually staying on the balls of your feet when you're doing it. So everyone kind of bounce back and forth. And you know, start slow there, team, and kind of build up into a good rhythm. So just start bouncing, get yourself in the mode of, of doing this. And we're really getting ready for sparring there, team. And, you know, for those who don't know what sparring is, you'll, you know, eventually when we get back in, we'll be doing that. Where you have gear on, you're kind of making a little bit of contact with each other and working on timing and distance. Um, super fun stuff. So this is going to be helping us get ready for that. So you're bouncing on your feet. When I say go, you're going to kind of push drag forward and then reset, right? Actually, straight jab. You're going to push drag forward and then stay there. And then push drag forward again and then stay there. And how you kind of do that there, team, is you're pushing off your right foot and your left foot kind of trails forward and you're falling behind. All right, so start bouncing. When I say go, push forward. And go. Nice. And you kind of imagining like you're sparring someone and you're kind of pushing in to kind of go in there for the point. Ready? And go. One more. Go. Nice, and then reset. And then keep bouncing. Let's do it again. Hands are up, ready? And one. Nice. You can kind of go for distance a little bit too. Ready? Two. And three. Nice, reset. Good, keep bouncing. All right, so this time, your team, you're going to push, drag forward. Take your left leg, kind of step off to a guarding stance face in the opposite direction, and then push back that direction. Okay, so when I say go, we're going to do it all together. So one more time, you're kind of pushing forward, reset your stance, face behind you, push that way. All right, start bouncing. And go. Good, and then reset, right back to that bouncing. And go. Good. Maybe the mindset is that you're sparring like multiple people at once, right? Which would be crazy. I know you're kind of pushing towards that first person to kind of get the point on them, and then you're resetting and kind of putting yourself that way to get the point on that person. Ready? Go. Good. And go. And go. One more time. And go. Good time. All right, so now, this time, you're going to move two forward and then one back. Okay? So, so I'm bouncing. So when I say go, push drag forward two times, push drag back once. And go. And go. Then 
that person's coming from this angle and you're kind of you know, resetting the face down. All right, so let's do it again. Start bouncing. And we're actually gonna push forward two times and then kind of set ourselves off on an angle on the other side. Ready? And go. And then kind of reset your stance and face that way. And then go back. And this time we're actually gonna push back and get that stance. So you're gonna do two forward, offset your stance, and then push back. And go. Nice, and then reset. And go. And then reset. And time. Shake your legs out. Take a deep breath in your nose. Out of your mouth. One more time. Out of your mouth. Hands behind your back, back straight. So up next 13, we're gonna bring Mr. C in here to help me out. If you don't need an assistant for this 13, but make sure you grab that magazine that we talked about. Mr. C, they're all yours. Awesome team, here's what's gonna happen guys. We're gonna work on our form, so we were just practicing really awesome drill to work on our footwork, our sparring, so we're gonna work on the next part of that. So firstly, sparring is all about speed, and the next part of it is telegraphing. So no matter how fast I am, even if I'm quicker than Mr. M, if he knows every time I'm about to throw my punch, I bring my arm up, or I shuffle together for a kick. It's, you know, a really knowledgeable spar, spar even like a moderately, moderate spar, moderately knowledgeable spar is going to be able to pick up on those cues. So we're going to work on avoiding those telegraphing. So you need that uh, magazine tucked under your armpit. Your goal is what we're working on right now is avoiding this kind of punch. It needs to be right out and right back. Elbow should be squeezing in. Now team, you're trying to throw that magazine in front of you. If it just drops at your feet, not so much correct. Focus on driving with your hips. Ready to start? Let's see it. Go! Uh, perfect team. Whatever your room you're in, you're going to mark, kind of try to find a marker of how far you got it. Let's do it again. We're going to do five on each side. Ready? One. Throw it out. Uh, good. A little farther there, Mr. Ryan. Keep that elbow in tight. Those arms protect your body from strikes. Ready? Two. Uh, nice. Same distance. Ready? Three. Uh, good. A little farther there, Mr. M. Ready, four. Up. Nice. That was a good throw. I think I came out open too. Last one, best one, ready. Five. Up. Nice. Definitely it wasn't blocked there by me at all. Alright, other side, team. We're gonna work on the other side. Ready. One. Up. Nice throw there, sir. Alright, that was pretty far. Team, make sure you're using like the mark, the area, the things in your room to try to see how far it's drawn it. Ready? Two. Good. We got three more there. Ready? Three. Up. Good. Really focus on that hip drive and keeping your elbow in. Ready? Four. Up. That was a really strong one, Mr. M. Last one, best one. Ready? Five. Up. Nice job. Do you guys want to grab your magazine? Put it off to the side. Everyone relax, dance. Sensei Michael, these guys are all yours for the next part of class, sir, for self defense. Thank you, sir. Mr. Trent, can you stick around with me one more really quick drill with that magazine? Yes, sir. So, this time, guys, we practiced our form with our reverse punch. Now we're going to work on with those front kicks. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take the magazine and you're first going to get into a really good chamber. So, your knee comes up and then you're going to lay it right on top. And the goal of this is to really work on your muscle control, right? So, Mr. Trent's going to get his balance first. Oh, my goodness. And then he's going to extend his leg straight out, and then in, and then down. Amazing. So let's do three on each side. So guys, it's a really good way to make sure your form, your posture is right, and then really have a good chamber with that kick. So, Mr. M gets his knee up, and wonderful. He's going to put it out. Awesome. In, and down. Awesome, sir. Two more times. Ready, knee up. Leg out. Remember, team, think about squeezing that balance, right? So squeezing your core, focused on one thing. One more time, sir. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Uh, that's a good run. Okay, try the other leg. Yeah, so team, this certainly isn't easy, but this is one of those drills that, like, if you're serious about, like, working on just strength building and really just getting good at your martial arts, good at kicks, like, this is the way to do it. So, knee is up. He puts it out. Awesome. In and down. Amazing. Two more, sir. Awesome. Yeah, great 
your hands up. Choose the last one, really check. Make sure your hands are up, your elbows are tucked, everything's in line, head is up straight. Last one, sir. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Show me, show me, you can lay the legs down. Stick around for a second. The self-defense for this week is called sweeping arm hooks. The attack is a two-hand push. Mr. M, while you're here, just let me demonstrate together. So, Mr. M is going to push me, guys. My first move, I step back. I'm going to crank one, kick two. I grab the shoulder, elbow, palm right down the face, and cover out. So, we, we switch sides. So, team, we're going to break this down together. But the goal is, when I pull his body down, he's like eating my front kick. Right at me. Boom. Falling right into it. So, he comes with that push. I knock it away. And pow. So, we got to land to that kick. I grab his shoulder, elbow under the chin, and then bonus points if you drop that elbow on his chest as you palm and rape the face and cover up. Thank you, sir. So, name of the self-defense is called sweeping arm hooks. The attack is a two-hand push. First thing I'm going to do, my hands are up, right? My elbows are tucked in. I'm going to step back with my left leg. My right leg pulls into a cat stance. All a cat stance means, I'm on the ball of that front foot and your weight is broken up like 80-20. What I mean by that is about 80% of my weight is on my back leg, 20% is on my front leg. So let's do that again. Hands are up. I'm gonna step back with my left. My right leg pulls in. Now at the same time, I'm gonna take both hands and make my crane. A crane is your four fingers and your thumb. They connect and you're pulling straight down. The mistake people make is when they step back and do their crane, they circle their arms that way. The challenge with that, we call it sending it back into orbit. What happens is their arms can circle around and hit you in the head, right? So the goal is, I talked about before, remember, trying to pull Mr. M's body down into my next strike. That's what you're trying to do when you do those cranes. Mo, my hands are up. My left leg steps back. Right leg pulls into that cat stance. So on the ball of my right foot, both hands, boom, pull straight down. From there, this leg is in position to do that front kick we just worked on with the magazine, right? That leg fires at the kick. I land forward. My left hand grabs the shoulder. My right hand elbows up and under the chin. This always reminds me of in like old movies when the main character would like slick their hair back. That's kind of the idea, right? Boom, your elbow is right under there. Let's go back to it again. So it's called sweeping arm hooks. The attack is a two-hand push. I'm gonna step back with my left leg. Right leg pulls into a cat stance, boom, double crane, right? So we step back, all at once. The leg gets up, fires out that kick, left hand grabs the shoulder, right hand, elbow, up and under, and then same hand, you're gonna palm, and you're gonna rake the face. Bonus points if you can get that elbow to drop right into their center, and then cover out, stop back up. Let's do it again together. Hands are up, left leg back, crane, soup. Front kick, soup, land in front, grab the shoulder, elbow, palm and rake, and cover out. Let's do it a few more times. I'm gonna do it the same direction as you, so my hands are up. Left leg steps back, right into my cat stance, crane straight down. Right leg front kick, land forward, left hand grabs the shoulder, elbow up and under, palm and rake, and back out. Let's go a few more times. If you have it, practice on your own. Otherwise, I'm going to count it out a few more. We're here. Step back left. Crane. Kick. Land forward. Grab with your left. Elbow. Asa. Stop back up. Crane. Kick. Elbow. Asa. Stop back up. Let's do it one more time. Ready? We're here. Step back left. Crane. Kick. Elbow. Asa. Stop back up. For your homework this week, you're going to send a video of you doing sweeping arm hooks, so this new self-defense. And then if you're white to green belt and you're ready, you can test on striking set this week. We're going to go through it one time together. Then Mr. C is going to bring two swords out for us, and we're going to work on our next self-defense for advanced belts. But let's do striking set first. Ready, match your stance. And attention! Right hand, ready, action cut. Striking set. Bow, right leg back, hands up, Ugh. right hand ready, hammer fist, hammer fist, palm, palm, elbow, elbow, push, get your body sideways, really focus this week on that chamber, make sure your knee is coming out in front, side kick, 
and then you pull it back where it started, right? Back shoulder, spin side kick, land in front, front kick, knee, feet together, and bow. Let's just go through it one more time. Ready, we're here. Action paddle, striking set, hands up, uh, hammer fist, hammer fist, palm, palm, elbow, elbow, push, side kick, spin side kick, front kick, knee. Perfect. Team, if you're a white and green belt, you're going to take the next few minutes and work on striking set. Practice it with the intention of testing on it this week. And when you're testing this week, some things we'll be looking for. Number one is you're rotating into those strikes. Number two, your chambers are really in the proper position, right? So for that side kick, that chamber is coming in front before you push out. Same thing for your spin side kick, right? My chamber's here. Boom. And then front kick, like we worked on earlier, that knee is up and I snap it back in. Okay, so when the green belt. Working on striking set, advanced belt, grab your swords please. Mr. C, come on out sir. Yes sir. Advanced belt, we are, we are continuing working on self-defense, right? So, we're gonna get into our positions. Remember, your right leg is in front, your swords are interlocked, right? What will be happening right now is there's a little bit of pressure. The reason for that is I want to be able to feel my attacker like move before they move, right? So as soon as they lose that pressure, like I know, okay, something's about to happen. So this week's self-defense, it's almost like preventative self-defense. Like I'm pretty sure Mr. C is gonna to try to strike me, so I'm gonna strike him first. So there's just two strikes we're gonna do. We're here, the first one, I'm just gonna bump his sword out of the way, and then pow, strike right down the wrist. One more time, we bump, and we strike. The second one, I'm just gonna do it the other way. I come around, bump it out of the way, and strike down on the other wrist. Let's do it one more time, just the other direction. So we're here. So remember, the idea is that I know, okay, Mr. C, he's definitely gonna try to hit me with the sword. I'm gonna make sure I get him first. So I bump the weapon out of the way, strike down on the wrist. The other one, boom, I bump the other way, so I go clockwise, and then strike straight down. Okay, thank you, sir, don't go far, I'm gonna need for 100 pounds. Everyone that's practiced this together, so let's do it the same direction. We're all facing this way. So my first strike, I bump to the left, right? So I bump, boom, and then pal, strike down. Remember, you're trying to hit right on their hand, right on their wrist. So one more time, we're here. We bump, and we strike. Second one, I go the other way. So I'm circling my sword clockwise, knock their sword out of the way, and then strike straight down. So one more time, bump, and strike. Second one, circle, bump, and then strike right down. So easy one to practice. Advanced spells, so you're gonna take the next few minutes just to work on that. If you have it, remember, you know two other self-defense, you know someone's trying to slice right in your center, you get out of the way and strike over top. You also know someone's coming in with an overhead strike and you follow in first, right? So spend some time working on them. My white through green belt, if you're good with striking set, start working on self-defense. So this week we did sweeping arm hooks, but you have six other ones from the past two months that you can be working on too. Okay, senior black belts. Senior black belts, we need to start the left side of 100 counts. So, so far you've tested on the first 50. The way we get to the second 50 is just doing it on the other side. So we're gonna start with um, left straight punch. So I'm here. We're gonna go through all 25 because you guys know the moves. It should be really easy to pick up on this. So left straight punch comes in. Right arm, right left hand steps in, inward block one, break two, elbow three, double chops four. So this is a good time to stop and check. Make sure your left hand is on top, your right hand is on the bottom. We switch, high and low five, high and low six, double high, double low. So that's seven, eight. Okay, from here, my left hand is gonna rake the face. My right hand palms low. Make sure when you do that palm strike, your thumb is up. Here, left hand back knuckle, right hand palms, now my pinky is up. So let's just get through those couple again. We're here. So now I'm doing the other side. So left straight punch, right hand, right leg, inward block one, break two, elbow three, double chops four, make sure left is on top, switch five, switch six, seven, eight, break and palm, nine, back knuckle ten, Palm 11. Okay, you know what comes next? Double uppercut. Left, 
and then right, 12, 13, then forearm, 14. Keep this hand up high, it's gonna set you up for that hammer fist, 15, 16. Okay, let's get up to 16 again. Ready, we're here. Right leg, right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left rake, right palm, nine. Back knuckle, 10, palm 11. Now we go uppercut, uppercut. 12, 13, forearm, 14. Hammer fist, hammer fist, 15, 16. Let's finish it up. My right leg is gonna step to where the number three is. Back knuckle, 17. Descending or downward back knuckle, 18. Palm up and under, 19. From here, we step, the footwork, this always reminds me of the footwork at the end of tornado kata, our knees kata. My right leg steps, I elbow over top, I step back, chop, 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 chop the other way, and then boom, side fist. So, what it looks like, and Mr. C was punching me, so now he's punching with his left hand, let's do it this way, sir. So, he punches with his left, I step in, inward block one, right? Rake two, elbow three, double chops four, I clear that hand, five, six, seven, eight. French, I think we're all pretty good up to there. I rake the face, palm low, back knuckle, palm. So whatever number that is. From here, uppercut, uppercut, 12, 13. Forearm 14, 15, 16. Here's the part that I noticed that some people were struggling with. That right leg just steps back to the three. If I do Mr. C was my 12 o'clock, now I'm on three o'clock. Back knuckle. Downward back knuckle, boom, palm up. I elbow over top, chop, 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 pal, punch. And from there, to what we get to next week is he swings that left hook punch, and I step right in, and I pick up the next 25, right? But that's what we're going to get to next week. So senior black belt, thank you, sir. Senior black belt, by the end of this week, you should have right straight punch, right hook punch, and then left straight punch. You have 75 down pat, but then if you have that, you're just adding left hook next, and that's gonna be your next 25. Okay, everyone, take a name. <laughs> Lesson of the week this week, before we start working out in a minute. One of my favorite stories was the first day of uh, the college semester. The professor had a group of kids in his classroom, and he takes uh, his coffee mug from the desk, and he holds it out just like this, and he asks the class, how much does the mug weigh? And some kids like, you know, raise their hand, like, you know, five ounces, 10 ounces, four pounds, two pounds, one pound. And then he said, well, the absolute weight really doesn't matter. But let's say this, let's say we take this mug and I ask you to hold it out for five seconds. Probably not big of a deal, right? Like, you know, you can do that. What if I asked you to hold it for 30 seconds? Okay, that might be a little bit tougher. Maybe your arm gets a little bit tired. What if I asked you to hold it out for a minute? A minute, my guess is you'd be sweating a little bit, like you feel like the muscles in your arm. What if I asked you to hold it for five minutes? You know, five minutes, you might be calling an ambulance, right? If you do, that's gonna be really tough. And he went on to explain, when you hold on to anger, to resentment, to worry, to anxiety, that anxiousness, it weighs on you like holding that cup out, right? And the challenge is the only one it hurts, when you hold on to anger, the only one it really hurts is yourself. It doesn't hurt anybody else, right? But you're taking all that pain. So my challenge for you, two things this week. Number one, think of like, and take a moment to reflect, and we can do it now together, on one of those emotions that you know you're holding on to. I remember, listen, letting it go is easier said than done. I totally get that, but it's one of those things that working on it is certainly better than not working on your all, right? So think, kind of figure, figure that out for yourself. Like, okay, am I, am I holding on to some anger? Am I holding on to some worry that we talked about last week? And then number two, and I think this is so important as martial artists, as black belts, as instructors, it's our responsibility, it's our job to help those around us. Think of someone that you know needs to hear this story. Maybe it's a coworker, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a brother, a sister, a parent, an aunt, an uncle, a sibling. Think about someone that you know needs to hear this and make a promise to yourself to share it with them this week. Okay, team, we have an amazing workout for you. Make sure your gloves are on, you're ready to go. Mr. M, Mr. C, they're all yours, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. All right, team, so super exciting stuff. We're gonna be doing some one 
minute and challenges their team. So you're going to have a minute to explode through whatever we give you. You're going to start with super simple jab cross, right? So make sure that your gloves are on their team. You're at home, your belly is sideways, getting that guard space. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You're going to bounce on your feet their team, and for a minute, you're just going to do jab cross back and forth. All right, I'm going to get my timer ready. Get set and go. Super set. Super set. Four. Those 
those senior black belt classes uh, can get you ready for your next degree test uh, or your next midterm uh, to do a lot of these push ups. Six. For those who don't know, also, if you're uh, doing push ups and you have to seven, think about the next part of it or doing any kind of exercise, think about the next uh, part of it, it helps you work both sides of your brain. Eight. More than halfway there, team. Keep going. You got it. Nine.
right knee to that push up just like that. Good work, sir. Three. Nice. If you have to take a break, just go underneath, shake Four. it out, and right back to it. Five. Six. Seven. This time there, team, you're going to switch to the other side to put those gloves on. So left leg is back, cover with your right, cover with your left, jab, cross, and then front kick, asa. All right, now if you want to challenge their team and you like, you can do it a skip front kick in that combination. Okay? So for those who want to do that, you can do that. All right, ready, get set, go! Soup, 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 us! All right, taking that challenge, sir, great. Snap on that kick. Excellent. Cross first. Super 
up, bend in that knee, meet that knee nice and bent. Good, stay low, stay low, pretend you're in a low ceiling house. Nice, he's pumping his arms, our team's keeping his balance. Halfway there, 15 seconds, you can do it, keep it going. Breathe, breathe, you got it, you got it. 10 more seconds, don't give up, push yourself, push yourself. Stay nice and low, 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 low. Shake it out, right back to it, five more seconds. There you go, you got it, sir, good work, good work, good work. Time! Team, give your toss again. Take a couple deep breaths there, Mr. C, and you are out of here. Great job today there, sir. All right, team, right where you are, just lay on your back, both way. And pull one leg in, and hold it. And release it nice and slowly, and switch. Hold this one. Release it nice and slowly, feet out. Breathe as you come up and reach for your toes. Roll over to your belly. Go into that downward dog position. Try to walk your hands back up to your feet, reach for your toes. Slowly rise so your head be less and it comes up. And go for relaxed hands. All right, team, so you're in the, uh, for your uh, homework for this class. You're gonna do your self-defense. Remember, they're kind of pushing you. You're stepping back, you're doing that crane. You're kicking, you're grabbing, pulling the end up with the elbow, drop the elbow down, pan call asa, stop, stay back. You're doing your self-defense, and then you're doing your kata and sending that to your online instructor. Uh, remember, team, super exciting. Our second promotion is coming up very soon, so make sure you start reviewing the other self-defenses as well at home. And that's it there, team. You guys did great today. Everyone has a chance. Attention! <laughs> Sir! Everyone, spread your feet out. Bend those knees. Put your fist out. Cut in a fist. Just uh, real quick there, team. Look back at your class. Decide how hard you worked. Kind of give yourself a mental pat on the back. Everyone repeat after me and probably say, we are Black Belt School. We're dedicated, motivated. We're on a quest to be our best. Feet together and bow. All right, team, have a great rest of your day. See you later.